am a 52-year-old female occupational therapist. I developed continuous involuntary twitching of the entire left side of my face following a cervical laminectomy surgery in 1999. Um, initially, only the abicularis oculi muscle was involved, but the mid and lower face was involved within a month. I began treatments with Botox starting in 2000, but these were provided, these provided only temporary to partial relief and um, I, it caused me to bite the inside of my mouth. Um, I was started on lecosamide on a trial basis for my hemifacial spasms by Dr. Gary Millick during hospitalization in April of 2011. My dose of 150 milligrams twice per day provided me to 60 to 70 percent improvement um, of the facial spasms. The lecosamide was discontinued when I was discharged from the hospital and my hemifacial spasms returned. When I came to Dr. Malik's office for a follow-up visit, uh, the same dosage of 150 milligrams twice per day was re restarted with similar results within 24 hours. When stress-free, I experienced 80 percent um, relief without side effects, but with stress, my hemifacial spasm control deteriorated to 40%. Um, this caused the doctor to increase the leucosamide dose to 200 milligrams by mouth twice a day. This gave me 90% improvement with deterioration to 70% when under stress. The dose was tolerated well. And Patricia, Thank you. you are not on the medication right now, is that huh. correct? I am not on the medication <laughs> at this time. How long have you been off this medication? I've been off this medication since Friday before last. Okay. So. When you come off the, of Vimpat, do you, do you have like suddenly your symptoms return or is it more of a gradual worsening of the hemifacial spasm? It's a gradual worsening. Um, for two days. The third day, everything is back to what it was before I started taking the medication. This patient is on the impact of uh, 200 milligrams in the morning and 250 milligrams in the evening and she has been back on the medicine for seven days at this point.